Now this. Space. Acting Defence Secretary Patrick Shanahan giving a stern warning. Roll tape. Both China and Russia have weaponized space with the intent to hold American space cap capabilities at risk. The threat is clear. We're in an era of great power competition, and the next major conflict may be won or lost in space. Okay, Gordon Chang is with us. What's this about China weaponizing space? What weapons do they have? China can shoot down our satellites. And by the way, Stuart, the United States does not have a deployed anti-satellite weapon. Next year, China will be adding to its inventory with directed energy weapons. This means... Well, well, hold on a second. I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to interrupt you, Gordon. Uh, you're in full flight here. But <laughs> directed energy weapons. Sounds like Lasers. A, a, a beam. A yes. laser beam that goes up and knocks out a satellite. They got, yes. they got that? They will have that deployed next year. Um, and the United States right now is behind. So that means in the critical first half hour of a war with China, they will be able to take down much of our assets in low Earth orbit. Now, we've also got high Earth orbit, the 22,000 mile geosynchronous satellites. But the point is, China is well ahead of us right now. And the question, Stuart, you might want to ask is, who do we blame? Well, all right, I'll ask the question. Who do you blame? Yeah, there's two people. Their last names are Bush and Obama. President Bush did not look at China as an adversary. President Obama did not want to um, protect us in space. And so we did not have conversations about protecting our assets in space and going after China's during the Obama administration. President Trump, thank God, is changing this because you heard the acting defense secretary talk about this. He said what war may be won or lost in space. I take out the word may. It's probably going to be won or lost in space. You don't sit, I mean, the, the likelihood of a war in the immediate future or even the distant future is, is not there, is it? I mean, are, are we at the point where we can actually talk about war in space with China? Surely not. Enoch Powell said, history is littered with wars that everyone knew would not happen. I'm not saying there's going to be a war with anybody, Russia, China, or whatever, but the point is you've got to be prepared because if your adversary thinks that they can blind you, they can take out all your assets sure. in the first half hour, they might be tempted to do a number of things. So, for instance, invade Taiwan, take over big portions of India. Who knows what they're going to do? But we've got to be prepared and we've got to deter them. And the way we but, deter them is to show them that we can protect our assets in space and go after theirs. But surely we have the technology to defend ourselves. We've got laser beams and energy-directed beams, don't we? We don't have anything deployed. We can use cyber. Well, what's that and mean? perhaps deployed. What's that mean? A, we a, 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 a beam in weapon form? Yeah, we don't have a weapon. We have capabilities, and those capabilities with a little bit of time, and that's the important point, a little bit of time can be used. So, for instance, we have standard missiles on our destroyers and cruisers. Those are really capable missiles, and those can be used to shoot down satellites in space. But we need time to adapt those. We also have got cyber, of course. With cyber, you can do almost anything, and we would like to be able to jam or disable or whatever China's satellites. But the point is, China can do that to us as well. We always we always talk about how, what China can do to us. They can hack here and cyber attack there. I presume we've got the same capability, but we just don't say anything. I mean, presumably? Yeah, yeah presumably we've got the same capabilities. But the point is we're behind the Chinese in these critical areas. And so what we need to do is to put this emphasis on space, which is what the administration is trying to do. We need one person in the Pentagon accountable for space. We don't have that person right now. We've got space in a lot of different areas in the Pentagon, and it's the disjointed response. That's been our problem. It's not that we don't have technology. It's not that we don't have money. We don't have the focus. Gordon Chang, on the wall as usual. Thank you very much for joining us, sir. We appreciate it.